well as expected and the standoff looks set to continue in Shortland Street. was the surprise bit? Gerald? And I take full responsibility. It was meant to be a small dinner. Yeah, instead Gabrielle, who has Asperger's, walks into a room full of overexcited people who leap out and shout at her. It's no wonder she freaked. In hindsight, I'm inclined to agree. Well then someone should have told me. I'll go and apologise. No, I'm happy to talk her down. Oh, speaking metaphorically, of course. I rather doubt she's balancing on the sill of an upstairs window. <laughs> And we think Gabrielle has problems. Well, um, I'll go talk to her. I really don't mind. Oh, it's a failure. Mm, too true. Excuse me, this was your idea. I think you should check the volivant so you'll have another crisis on your hands. Are there candles for the cake? At this rate, we don't have a guest of honour, do we? So we won't be needing a cake, will we? Talk about disaster. 3,023, 3,037, 3,041. Would you go away, please? Gabrielle, it's Chris. I don't want to speak to you. 3,049. I know you're still there. Yeah, I'm still here. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Why don't you come back down, have a glass of wine? I'm staying in here. Okay. For what it's worth, I don't like surprise parties either. Well, I don't like parties. <laughs> I'll come back soon. Well, I'd rather you didn't. You know what I can't stand? It is bad enough that we are underpaid and underappreciated, but when you can't count on your workmates to stick up for you, then that seriously stinks. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Especially when you thought you could trust them. I mean, you can't trust some people so rated if you ask me. I'll drink to that. What can I get you? Fuck a tonic, please. Are you waiting for someone or are you drinking by yourself? If you must know, Callum's working with Gabrielle tonight. Us? Yeah. He's working, huh? Yeah. With Gabrielle? Yeah. Well, he's not. He's at a party. <laughs> you would say that. Well, he is. Didn't he tell you? What party? A birthday party at Chris Warner's. If he was at a party, I would know. Well, I know for a fact that Sarah and TK are at a party. For Gabrielle. At Chris's. Take care now. Shutting up shop? Yes. 20 minutes after my shift is finished. Um, how are you placed for tomorrow? Why? I was thinking you could do a day in here for me. Aren't we meant to be sharing this position around all the senior ED nurses? That's nice in theory. Have you asked any of the others? Yes, I got thumbs down all round. By tomorrow we'll have a picket line. You could talk to the nurses. <laughs> and say what? That you do value us? Not interested. Next you'll expect me to tell every patient I value them for the excellent learning experience they've given me. No wonder Tracy thinks you don't appreciate us. Look, I do appreciate you all and your work. And I happen to agree you're underpaid, but all I want is the work done. Yes, but I think Look, you're... I don't have time to pander to stroppy nurses, all right? Now, you and your mates are welcome to a talk feast, but it won't be with me. Fast track clinics here in the morning. I haven't seen... Nine o'clock sharp. I can't manhandle her out of the bathroom. She'll come down when she's ready. <sighs> Would you say that I'm a good judge of character? My point is, I seem to be the only one who can see straight through her. Who? Gabrielle? No, Aroha. She's taking us all for a ride. She is never going to leave. Yes, she will, once she finds her own place. Honestly, you and Morgan are hopeless. Did your mum use rocket pesto on these ones? What is wrong with rocket pesto? Oh, uh, nothing. Look, next time you want a cup of tea and you can't find a cup, don't come crying to me. What are you talking about? Aroha's room. I'm sorry, her tip. It's like the Bermuda Triangle of cutlery and crockery. It goes in there and it never comes out again. Tea bag stains and eggy spoons, that's all I see. Oh, I'm at screaming point. Gabriel doesn't come down in a sec. Everyone's going to leave. Oh. Do people look like they're leaving? No. So, are you on my side or not? What? The Aroha issue. Oh. Hello. 
Hello. Sorry I'm late. Don't you just hate it when your partner forgets to pass on invitations? Evening, everyone. Should we get a drink? I think uh, now would be a good time to bail, honey. I think so, too. You can't go. We haven't had the cake yet. Well, as long as Anne Frank is in hiding, the cake's not really a happening thing, is it? That is so not funny. Did you invite her? I most certainly did not. And Callum obviously didn't either. If anyone wants me, I'm in the kitchen. Uh, oh, me too. Hmm, nice party. Yes. You don't want me here. No, that's not the way it is. Really? It's the way it looks. It doesn't feel fabulous either. Thank you. I hated this work thing of messing up our friendship. What do you expect? Big hug and a thanks? You stood there knowing that we are working to rule, knowing that your shift had finished and you came. I'm supposed to turn patients away. All you had to do was show the guy through to ED. Just because you fancied Dr. Max, it's your value. I did not fancy him. Oh, an extra hour? Sure, Maxwell, I'd love to. Overtime? Time and loot? Oh, no, don't worry about it, eh? The rest of us have been losing respect faster than a whoring politician, and you walk in and let him take the lot. For what it's worth, okay, Maxwell does respect the nurses. Mm, I believe that. No, he told me. Okay, he actually said that he thinks we're underpaid. Not that he can do anything about it. It's never been about pay. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm just saying he's not anti us. Look, I don't blame you for being sucked in. He seems really nice at first. Kind of like this cop I used to work with. I thought he was really sweet and hot ass until the first time he took me out for dinner and treated the waitress as if she would do it. Maxwell's the same. And underneath it all, guys like that are just bullies. Uh, do you want to use the bathroom? Well, no, I just came up to say that if you want to go home, I'm happy to take you. No, no, I'll stay. There's no pressure to, really. It's only a party. As long as they don't sing happy birthday. <laughs> this can be arranged. It's the octave left. No one can do it. There's like fingernails down a blackboard. You read music? Well, I'm a bit rusty. Did you know that the architects of Notre Dame base their proportions on certain intervals? Fourths, fifths, octaves. I vaguely remember reading that. The mathematics of music. You can actually sing the building. He asked me to work tomorrow on the fast trip planet. What did you say? That I wasn't the only one available and we're meant to be sharing it around. But what got me is that he just assumed I'd do it. Now you know how we operate. <sighs> Evening, ladies. Can I buy you two a drink? No, no thanks. Uh, see you in the morning. Uh, not me, actually. I'm um, rostered on to search for in the morning. Since when, thanks? Since about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, the forces of darkness are mobilising, I see. Greetings. Hello. My friend, you must prepare to fight the good fight. What? Sit down, Tico. Whose side are you on? Ours or his? Is this the work to rule thing? Mm -hmm. I'm on my side. Come on. Look, this is between you guys and Maxwell. TK, you're sitting on the fence. Where's your loyalty? Oh, you know how hard we work. What we're asking in return is not unreasonable. True. So you'll support us? You guys are going to work to rule whether I'm involved or not. Yes, but if you told Maxwell that you back us, he might actually start taking us seriously. This is about respect. And you think he'll listen to me? Mm -hmm. You're a doctor and you're a bloke. Of course he'll listen to you. Please. All right. Thank you. Red wine. Thank you. I was intrigued to hear of your insistence against the traditional happy birthday song. Is it because of its origins? No. Excuse me. The song was constructed by two... She's coping really well. I knew she would. Note to self, no more surprise parties. Now I know why Luke practically invited himself. 
Check it out. What? Am, am I missing something? Look at their body language. No, there's nothing happening. He definitely fancies her, and I think she likes him. I think you're projecting. However, I think they'd be great together. I get the feeling they're both lonely. Well, it could work. Odd bit cute and all that. <laughs> Another piece? Oh, yes, please. This turned out to be a nice night after all. Except for her. What's the point in going to a party to pout all night, I ask myself? And what do you reply? Watch it, you. You're ashamed of me. Don't be silly. Then why lie about where you were tonight? I had to find out from Hunter. That made me feel about this big. You told me you didn't want to socialise with the work crowd. Forgive me if I took that too literally. Okay, I said that. But we're in a relationship now. Of course I want to be seen with you. I want to be seen with you in public as your partner. So how do you plan to support the nurses work to rule? I guess I just don't kick up a stink when they finish their shift right on the dot. Leaving you with all of the work. They'll never compromise patient care, and I'm more than capable of handing out the discharge form. I just think that you should have stayed right out of it. Yeah, except I happen to agree they do need more respect. Yes, but you have your own job to think about. Get offside with the brand new HOD, and you've pretty much had it. Here we go, politics. No, not just politics. You won't do yourself any favours. If the nurses think that you're a soft touch, you'll just end up the meat in the sandwich. Yeah, point taken. I said I'd speak to Maxwell, so I will. OK, well, don't say I didn't warn you. And harden up, you big softy. All right, I'm coming. Is Edelha here? Uh. Hey, wicked. Come in this way. <laughs> What's happening? We are never going to get rid of that girl. That was a television that just walked its way in. It's just a TV. Well, for now it is. It'll be her wardrobe next. <sighs> See ya. That is so cool. Now I can watch Tommy in bed. Oh, cool. When are you moving in? <laughs> as soon as you like. I don't think so. Don't be so rude. Yeah, Gerald. You're not the only one who's living here. With four of us, the rent would be sweet, eh, Morgan? Yeah, except that Libby's sure to say no, and that will be that. Why would she? You sure you don't want another piece of my toast? No. One's enough. Do you have an extension cord? I need one for the tally. And now we're a hardware store. She's right, though. We'd all be paying less rent. Well, if that's all it is, I'm sorry. I'd be prepared to pay more just to keep her out. And why are we even discussing this? You started it. Well, I'm not the only one that doesn't like her. Libby doesn't either. Look, I don't want to argue about it, OK? It's a waste of time anyway. She's moving into another place with some friends. So she says. Gerald, don't. <sighs> hey, Libby. I was meant to hand this in weeks ago. Personal information form. That's fine, thank you. What have you done? Uh, well, I was in a rush this morning and I caught it on something. You can totally tell. I want to scream, it's my favourite jacket. It's easily fixed. Yeah, I'm going to take it to the lady in the mall this afternoon. Probably cost a small fortune. <laughs> I can do it for you. Really? You so? It just needs hand sewing. No sweat, I can do it in my break. Would you? Of course. Save you the trouble. Ah, thank you. You and Luke seemed uh, to be getting on well last night. Yes, we do get along well. So, how's the merger with the CEO going? None of your business. So, are you going to see him again? This afternoon. Oh, he's taking the afternoon off. We're doing a craniofacial reconstruction together. Coffee? No, thank you. I'm too nervous. OK, people, let's get started. Uh, there is one item not on the agenda. Uh, Scotty, you want to kick that off, please? Uh, you all know by now that the nurses in the emergency department are taking work to rule action. Tracy and I have discussed this, and I suggested she come along to give us her side of the story. Over to you, Tracy. OK. Uh, first off, thank you for the opportunity to talk to all of you. Not a problem. Um, this is really hard for us because, as nurses, we do see the benefit of having a fast-track clinic. It's not the clinic that we're against, it's the way it's being run. We feel that we are being taken advantage of. Uh, how do you mean? 
We don't have HCAs working with us, so we end up doing all of our work as well as theirs, like restocking and making beds. We spend more time doing those things than we do actual nursing. Mm. Scotty? I agree and support the nurses on that. We need healthcare assistants to take care of the more menial tasks so that we can get on with doing our jobs, which we do want to do. Mm. Maxwell? Perhaps you'd like to whack some cash from your budget into mine. Then I can hire more HCAs. Look, I sympathise with you and the other nurses, but as you pointed out yourself, the Fast Track Clinic is working. The waiting time is cut down and throughput is up. Look, of course you could do with more support, but as with the rest of the hospital, it's a case of doing the best you can with what you've got. The fact is, Tracy, this clinic is a new initiative. We don't have the money to hire extra HCAs because it wasn't covered in the current budget. Oh, surely there must be some money for it somewhere. That may well be, but we have to wait till the next budget round. Which is when? In about three or four months. So we just have to put up with it until then? In the meantime? Yes. Three or four months? That's crazy! Exactly. And when I said that the Fast Track Clinic should be put off until that time, boy, did I get in doo-doo. Apparently, HODs can start new initiatives any time they want, and we don't get a say. That's not fair. At least it won't happen to our love. Gabrielle's too busy to start anything oh, new. Oh, don't you believe it. If anyone gets a bee in her bonnet and starts changing things, it'll be her. Anyway, the point is, it doesn't matter what department we work in, we should all stick together. I agree. So... I say we all work to rule. What do you guys reckon? Yep. Who's our union delegate now, by the way? It used to be Alice. Well, that's easy. To be Tracy. No one else has put their hand up for the job. See? It was meant to be. Oh, go on. Yeah, OK. Yay. <laughs> Good, let's rally the troops and we can announce a new delegate and let everyone know what's going on. How do you feel about another stint in ED? I hope you're joking. Maxwell Alvia is impressed with you. Is this a wind-up? No, I've just seen him. His words, Tanya's great, I'd like to have her back. Um, can I think about it? Sure. Get back to me soon, eh? Ultrasound. Mrs Menzies gets sent up here by mistake. Yes. Hey, Scotty just told me something weird. Maxwell wants me back in ED. Be very afraid. You think? Yeah. Mm, that was my first reaction. I don't trust Maxwell, especially now the way he's running things is out in the open. I wouldn't put it past him to be sussing out the nurses who will cave. I only caved once. And I'm not criticising you, but I reckon it's all part of his master plan, especially now he's got Callum on side. Mmm, gotta go. See you later. Thank you for last night. My pleasure. Quite excellent company and excellent conversation. Driving home, I was most fortunate to spot that most efficient of predators, Ninox Noves Landio. <laughs> Lucky you. Indeed. A lovely specimen. An adult male, I believe. I stopped the car and got out to take a closer look. He didn't seem to mind at all. You better not be thinking taxidermy. Oh, good heavens, no. Those chaps are natives. <laughs> I'm guessing this was a more pork. Correct. Ah. All the forms. Unusual to see one in the suburbs. Down south, it's a different story. Athene Noctua, the German owl, is frequently out and about during the day. I'm ready when you are. A uh, game of chess once we're on the home straight here. Good idea. I was talking to Luke, not you. Oh, sorry. I'm in. Hey, how's your day? Oh, could improve. How's yours? Look at this. What am I looking at? A fantastic repair job, thanks to my friend here. Shanti is looking for you. Why? We're well, supposed to be upstairs changing linen, not here drinking coffee. Oh, oh no, that's my fault. I lured out of her away. I'll come now. Oh, I don't believe it. What's happened? The flat I was supposed to get with my mates. The landlord's given it to someone else. Oh, no. Well, there are plenty of other flats out there. You'll just have to keep on looking. I suppose. But it's really hard getting good ones, though. Then the waiting lists are a mile long, and they hate tenants my age. Maybe you should move in with us, then. I mean, if, if, if you want to. That'd be so cool. Would you be OK with that? Well, the room's there. I don't see why not. Does anybody want my opinion? We already know your opinion. Well, we can't not help Araha. How would you feel if you were homeless? 
Thanks, you guys. You're so awesome. I'll move my stuff in tomorrow. As long as you're doing your job, I don't care if you support them, sleep with them, or dress up as them in your spare time. The nurses deserve our respect. Agreed. But do we have to pat them on the back every time they put in an IV? Look, when that extra funding comes along, we'll hire more HCAs. So you raised it then? Uh, Tracy did, at the HOD meeting. And Cullum told her straight. There's no more money for extra funding at the moment. The issue is not going to go away. It'll go away. I mean, these things always do. I'd give our nurses more credit than that. Okay, how long have you worked in ED? But I think you're onto something. You stick to your role and I'll stick to mine. Sorry? Well, me bad cop, you good cop. Keep up the sweet talking and they'll be falling all over themselves to get back in line. Okay, we have already started working to rule in ED. So let's continue that across all departments. We are following our contracts and duties to the letter, folks, but never at the expense of patient care. If we do have to work overtime, then we charge overtime. No exceptions, agreed? Mm -hmm. This is about getting the respect that we deserve, and it is also about getting a say in any new initiatives that involve us. Good idea. And one more really important thing, we have to support each other because I will bet you anything you like that management are thinking that we will just give up on this at any minute and go away. And my message to them is we will not give up and we are not going away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> An excellent end game in the manner of Kasparov. Uh, perhaps you'd entertain the idea of a rematch. I would, yes. Well, outstanding. <laughs> Well, Luke seems to have a knack for mental chess. I suppose it's more enjoyable playing against a worthy opponent. Yes, it is. Duly noted. Need to brush up my game. Um, perhaps we can play again during the next phase of the reconstruction. When is that? Next week, but... Excellent. But I won't require your assistance. I'm using Stephen Fredericks. I don't understand why cancel his list when I'm available. Well, he's very experienced. His speciality is facial reconstruction. Gabriel, have I offended you in some way? No. Because if I have... I... No, no, you haven't offended me. Everything's fine. But I no longer require you as part of my team. Declan McKenna is hoping to turn a simple green grass space into a modern Chinese oasis as the new series of Super Garden continues tonight at 8.30 here on RTE1.